Why Finland is the best country to live in? Today I will react to the living on 48,000 a year in Helsinki, Finland and also teach you some secret stuff why Finland is actually a pretty kick-ass country to live in. Let's go check it out. So this Millennial Money YouTube channel made a video about this Finnish family who live on 48,000 budget per year and they share their lifestyle and expense and money related stuff and there's some really good stuff coming up in this video so let's jump right into it and see what we get. My name is Maria Aino MacDonald. I'm 30 years old and I live in Helsinki, Finland. Helsinki is pretty nice here. I'm walking to work. I just took a train. I was born in Helsinki and I've always liked Helsinki. You have the sea nearby, you have a lot of nature. I mean, who doesn't like parks, Helsinki? Parks, forest, but still the city life. Okay, now we get to the good stuff. In Finland, it's been this kind of rule that you don't talk about money that much. It would be considered bragging if you would tell about how much you make, etc. And still you find many people, even young people, that wouldn't tell you how much they make. So one really interesting point she already mentioned is the fact that we Finnish people are really bad at talking about money. So for some reason money is kind of like a taboo for us Finns. So about talking about like how much money you make or how much you save or what kind of stuff you invest on. It's for some reason it's just a really difficult topic for Finns, and I think Finnish people have a lot of uh, to improve in this department. But let's look at the expenses next. Okay, their family. It's for the whole family. It's six hundred dollars. I think it's like around five hundred fifty dollars something. Daycare for their child, three hundred seventy-two dollars. I think that's pretty good because it's subsidized. I'll talk about that more in a second. Savings. Okay, she also saves some money. Transportation means unlimited bus and train pass for the whole family. She also donates some money. Student loans, $67 a month. That's, that's like nothing. Health insurance, $11. Miscellaneous stuff, utilities, subscription, phone bill, a dog. So that's kind of funny. And she's gonna talk more about this in detail, so let's see what we will get. I live with my husband, Duke. He's a musician and we've been together for 10 years now. And we have a son, old. two year old Luca, and a dog, eight years old. Ah, I like the dog, he's pretty good. I've been talking with my uh, husband about the situation that I make a little bit more at the moment, but he says that it doesn't bother him, which is great because it obviously doesn't bother me. Okay, that's actually a very interesting thing that probably you know that Finland is a pretty good country in terms of equality. So I think in some cultures and countries it might be a little bit of a challenge if the woman in the family would make more money. I don't know, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. But in Finland it's kind of like an okay thing because you know ladies can get pretty good jobs, they also get like higher degrees which means they get better paid jobs and stuff. Some guys in Finland would might still feel a little bit inferior if there's like a really highly educated, high, high earnings lady. So, but I think most of the time it's completely fine if the lady makes more money. In our case, it has always kind of just been like, okay, whoever has the money pays for it kind of thing. When I was studying and he was working, he was paying more. Now that I'm making a little bit more money, then I'm, you know, paying a little bit extra. But I think it's like, with us, it's kind of like, okay, I pay for Lucas daycare, so do you pay the car? Okay, let's do it. Well, obviously it's an international couple, we cannot really talk that much, but I think that would be a really Finnish way, you know, to agree like who pays what and so on. So it's like a very flexible thing. So in Finland, you don't pay anything for university. I mean, maybe some books or something. Okay, this is good stuff. I probably told you already that in Finland, universities are tuition free for people who have a European citizenship. If you grow up in Finland and you study in Finland, you can do it for free. There's no tuition fees. And like she said, you only have to pay for like maybe some books and that's all about it. And I remember when I was a student, I didn't even pay for the books because we mostly had all the materials online. And that's a really good thing. And as you can see on the screen, 
the state of Finland will also subsidize students every month just that they're students. So you get around 500 euros a month, so it's 555 dollars just to cover your student life. And you don't have to pay it back. It's well, kind of like free money, but that's really a good thing. Really good thing. So you actually get paid to study in Finland. So what do you guys think about that? Let me know in the comments. Pretty good stuff. In Finland we have this amazing system for young people buying their first homes that if you have 10% of the money uh, saved for the apartment, so in my case my first apartment was uh, 175,000, if I had that 17.5,000 saved in that saving account, the government would guarantee my loan for the bank. I took student loan out and put it on that account so that the, by the time being that I would stop my studies I could have the 10% there to buy that house. Okay, let's stop here. There's a few really interesting points what I want to talk about here. First of all, she talked about this savings account she used to buy her first, uh, uh, first home. And in Finland we actually have this account called ASP, which comes from the word Asuntosäästöpalkkiotili. <laughs> which is kind of like a mouthful, but this is actually a very good account for people who want to buy their first own home. And like she said, how it works in a nutshell, so basically you save 10% from the price of that apartment. The state of Finland will step in again and they will guarantee the loan. So I think it's called collateral or guarantor, I don't know. So basically the state of Finland will help you to guarantee the loan which means that it's very easy to get this once you just save that amount to the amount to the account. But this is actually a very nice way for people who want to buy their own home. And you can do this with any bank in Finland. I also checked that a foreigner can open this ASP account as long as you just have a Finnish ID number. And the second thing what I also want to talk about here is the student loan. So as you can see, she pays only $67 a month. I think that's maybe 50 euros or something. And her interest rate is only 0.33%, which means it's actually a very cheap loan. And she actually used that student loan to buy that first home with that ASP account. And I wish I had do this, done the same. I actually did take a little bit of the student loan, but back then I was kind of dumbass. I didn't realize like how, how low the interests are and how actually cheap it, it is. And actually the state of Finland will also guarantee the student loan. So as long as you're a student, anyone can get the student loan from the bank and the state of Finland will guarantee it. So it means that you just get it by just applying it, that's, that's easy. I wish I had taken it because I could have, for example, invested that money on maybe on my ASP account. I also have an ASP account or maybe on stocks or index funds, you know, to start making more money. And this is actually a very good system. So students get, for example, the really good subsidies, 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 it's subsidies and also tuition free studies and also very cheap student loans. I, for example, I heard in America people are actually paying crap loads of money and, and tons of money on the interest and stuff, but here in Finland it's actually nothing. So it's actually very cheap debt, which people can just use to, for example, buy homes and stuff. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments. I see buying an apartment basically as an investment, especially if you buy it uh, in Helsinki or in any city where the prices are basically just going up all the time. And one quick thing what I also want to talk about here that is that for some reason Finnish people, they want to own a home. So if you are living on rent, people might think like, I, you, you seem kind of like a poor dude or why, why aren't you investing on your own apartment? So for, for some reason Finnish people are more inclined to buy and own a home 
instead of living on the rent. For example, I live in on, my, on the rent now, but I might buy my first home maybe in one, two years, we'll see. But that's actually quite an interesting cultural thing. I want to quickly mention to you. In Finland, the healthcare is amazing, like the municipal one. I don't pay basically anything on my healthcare. Of course, when I pay taxes, some of that money will go to the healthcare. That's another good point, is that the healthcare system is quite cheap, the public sector. So in case you need a doctor or you need to go to a dentist or whatever, you can just go to the public sector and you will get serviced and the prices are like super low. Like I think I once went, went to the doctor and it cost like 10 euros one visit. Of course it depends if you need a little bit more advanced stuff that might be a little bit more pricey. But the point is that you can get you can get really good service from the public healthcare with basically like non-existent costs. So that's another good thing about living in Finland. Of course, like she said, we actually pay that in taxes in order to have the service. But in my opinion, I think I'm ready to pay a little bit more taxes that the government and the state will actually take care of me. What do you guys think about this one? Okay, that's actually very interesting. I myself don't have any kids, so I don't know, have any practical experience on this, but as you can see, the childcare as well is subsidized. So instead of paying 1,000, I think it's 1,000 euros, she's paying like 300 euros a month only for childcare. And that's a huge saving, that's like 700 euros, 700 dollars. And isn't that amazing? You can get your child care taken care of with very low price. Again, some good stuff here. Finland is the best place to have kids. The maternity leave is long. You get about three months with full salary and then six months with 75% salary. And after that even, so after nine months, you still have a possibility to stay home if you want, but then you get about 500 a month. Okay, that's again, good stuff. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm not a parent myself. How is it in your country with this parental leaves? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to hear how it works in your country. And I've also made videos about how to save money in Finland before. You can check out the video here and make sure to subscribe to get more of these kind of videos in the future. I'll see you next time. Moi moi.